Hi, I'm Samira Hermes, reporting on Jaguar Wright and her YouTube Hunger Game cast members. Today, Jaguar Wright, ex-lesbian lover, TJ, supporters going crazy. So, just one day ago after having Jaguar on her YouTube channel to degrade and insult her subscribers, TJ has quit the Hunger Games and her supporters have gone crazy. And they're not the only ones, so stay tuned. So, I ask why after Jack has done all this to TJ, would she allow her to destroy the only supporters that will be there to help her if her lift job doesn't pan out? This reminds me of a woman in an abusive relationship. So Jack Wall goes crazy on the supporters, and Naisha, who is the lady that was in the 11-year relationship with TJ, TJ, she also went crazy on her. Jack hurts TJ, then TJ hurts Naisha. This is definitely a pattern of abuse and acceptance of abuse. We'll need to look into this mentality a little further. But first, I want to see what TJ's supporters are saying. Although there were some supporters upset with her, there seemed to be just as many still supporting her. So I decided to check out the comments for a further review. Okay, so let me put on my spectacles. It says, TJ, you're about to lose so many subscribers and support after that live I heard with Jag. How do you want to be down with someone so bad that you're being, uh, whatever, the whole, I was disgusted. And TJ says, okay. Uh, someone else says, TJ, let that lady disrespect her mod supporters and chat. Somebody said, you're so right. I felt really bad for don't fuck with me because that moderator aggressively defends TJ in the comments and stood by her. I will be surprised TJ allowed the moderator to be insulted so bad. Someone else said, I was like, what the fuck? And I pray not Isha makes a police, that's not going to happen. A police report, because releasing those photos would be revenge porn, and they admitted to stealing from her Uber Eats. I really don't think that's going to that's gonna happen. I think Naisha has just as many issues as TJ, and she allows it. Uh, let's see. Someone else here says, wow, that's a lot of nerve to be that cocky with people that supported you and blessed you with so much when Jack admitted to using you, manipulating you, and never even caring about you. These people help you to pay your fines so that you would be able to reach your goal of driving for Lyft. But as soon as Jack showed up, you dropped your attention through everyone. I, okay. And then someone else says, I'm not sure why folks are so surprised that TJ didn't defend the check and supporters. She let Jack drag the shit out of her own children on several occasions. Wow. Um, someone else says, you're right. I guess I thought she really appreciated the support she was getting. But the one thing I agree with Jack on is that she's definitely a big liar. Hmm. See. Okay, so now this is all out. Was it really Jag or the people Jag thought she could trust? Mm, no, Jag and TJ both did some effed up things. Jag admitted she used TJ because she had no one else in Texas. This reminds me of the saying, a leopard never changes its spots. It keeps its real. It keeps it real. Okay, again, you are 100% on point. This is what I find interesting. Jack is so connected and knows everybody, but one or more of her friends couldn't pay. Exactly, I agree. The same thing. She knows a lot of celebrities, supposedly, and she's supposed to be so in the know, but no one could help her pay that deck on bond. Okay, so there we have it. Words of wisdom. The truth is, TJ seems to treat her supporters the same way she treats Naisha and the same way she allows Jag to treat her. Naisha seems to allow TJ to treat her the same way Jag treats TJ and continues to come online tipsy, expressing her love for TJ. I am truly at a loss for this type of mentality. So I decided to ask AI to help me understand what might be going on. 
So I went to AI and I said, AI, what is the possible mental health diagnosis of a person who continually allows someone to hurt, harm, or disrespect them? And AI said to me, the possible mental health diagnosis for a person who continually allows someone to hurt, harm, or disrespect them could be dependent personality disorder. This disorder is characterized by a pervasive psychological dependence on others. Individuals with dependent personality disorders may exhibit an excessive need to be taken care of. Hmm, Naisha did say she was taken care of, leading them to tolerate mistreat or a mistreatment or abuse from others in order to maintain the relationship. They may have difficulty making decisions without reassurance from others and may feel uncomfortable or helpless when alone. Additionally, they may go to great lengths to obtain support and approval from others, even if it means enduring harmful behavior. Dependent personality disorder can significantly impact an individual's ability to function in various areas of life, mm, including work, social relationships, and self-care. It can lead to patterns of submissive and clingy behavior, which they both have. TJ is very clingy and submissive to Jack, and Naisha is very clingy and submissive to TJ, as well as a fear of separation and abandonment. The individual may struggle with asserting their own needs and may prioritize the needs of others over their own well-being. Very interesting. Well, 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 I have nothing more to say. You know, sometimes people don't know they might be going through some mental issue. But hopefully hearing this, they'll go and get checked before getting into another relationship. I'm just saying. This has been a not-for-profit donation-free zone. Over and out.